Hey guys, I am back with another One Piece manga review and I have realised that something seemed to be missing on my reviews. And you know what that is? I've got the answer. Bear with me. It's my lucky hat! So let's get diving in. So I'm admittedly a bit late with this one, um, so lucky there was a break week, uh, so I'm not falling behind. But we've got chapter 1127, Adventure in the Land of Mystery. And we've got another cover of Ogre Child Yamato's Golden Harvest. This time, Dogstorm and Yamato are eating <clears throat> what look like rice buns, I guess? Um, but we find out that Dogstorm is now the daimyo of Kuri, so that is, that's good to know. So the first page, we've gone straight into a bit of action. There's a big fire that's broken out and they're panicking to what happens if it hits the great tree Yggdrasil. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Um, it's a tree of m mythical proportions. Um, regularly pops up in, I think, like Viking slash Norse mythology. So you can, I think we're going to get a lot of those references um, during this, this uh, Elbaf. Even if this, if this even is Elbaf. Well, there's loads of giants. But then also giant bees have, well, not giant to them, but bees have been falling down. And then we go on to the next page where they're discussing about how rab even a giant rabbit's fallen. Um, so a lot of crazy stuff's going on. We're going to get answers to those in a moment. Uh, we've got Nami and Zeus together who've just taken out a bee, but it all se still seems to be alive. Nami's panicking, of course. Why wouldn't she be? Nami then begs for help from the monster trio of Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, and then even gets desperate and calls for help for Usopp. She thinks it's probably a dream because, well, she doesn't even remember changing. But then she hears Usopp's voice and starts heading towards it, but immediately trips on the Lego floor. Glad. She's wearing shoes because, you know, we don't like stepping in Lego. She then encounters a cute little bear, but she pan she startles it and it gets angry and starts chasing her. So she then continues to follow Usopp's voice and finds that he's lower down where than where she is. She's he on like the floor below or something. Unfortunately, Usopp is stuck in the jaws of a giant king cat and... So Nami decides to help out by using firing off Zeus from her climb attack um, and fires it at the giant cat. And sorry, my mistake, it wasn't the cat she attacked, it was the bear, f uh, the bear thing that was chasing her. Um, and now that thing's fried, uh, but she sort of leapt to attack, so she falls and bounces off the cat. And then there's a follow-up zap on the cat... And now Usopp is free. Free before the zap, though, so he didn't, doesn't get fried as well. So after that shocking endeavour, the cat is now furious and chases both Nami and Usopp. But then Nami gets this whole idea that, you know, the, the drink they drank, the absinthe, called Green Fairy, um, causes hallucinations. So she thinks that might be what's happening, that none of this is real and they are just imagining it. So they get chased to a dead end and Usopp, now gathering his courage, decides, you know what, hallucinations aren't going to hurt me and stands up to the cat and immediately gets wiped out. <laughs> so much for that. They, Usopp then gets kind of, not only knocked out, well, poured, but he gets crashed through the wall and humorously you can kind of see the perspective he's this little dot falling a very long way um and obviously nami's concerned about him because that's quite a bit of punishment for our boy usopp the cat has now seemingly evolved into a lion to make things worse and just as it seems that they're doomed you hear oh nami and it's got a heart, you know, it's really obvious who that is. It's Sanji. Sanji's coming in. But not only Sanji, Zoro and Luffy appear as well. And they land a massive triple attack on the lion, knocking it back to its cat form. We then end with 
a good kind of view of Luffy, Zoro and Sanji in their Elbaf get-ups. They all look quite good. I would say Zoro could do without the goggles. Those sort of ruin the outfit a bit for me. And then the giants complaining about a racket and lots of noise. And it's sort of implied that all the things that happened earlier were the fault of the monster trio of Luffy, Zoro and Sanji. And Nami's just like, how are you... How are you all so comfortable? <laughs> because, you know, she's panicking and they're just having the time of their lives. But that is the end of the chapter. So it doesn't seem like it's halluc a hallucination. I believe it's probably Elbaf because of the Yggdrasil. Um, so the only unanswered question is, where is Chopper? He's still missing. So where do you think he is? Is he going to show up later? Probably. Or um, And then also... What else is there to discuss? Yeah, what's happening with the other half of the Straw Hats? Uh, you know, they're on the great ship Eric still. Are they going to show up later? Or is this sort of like a whole Cake Island incident where the, the team, the party is going to be split? We'll see. Looking forward to it on, on the Sunday. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys later.